This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. Happy Easter from Depressed Bunny. Now happy Easter from I'll take your man from you, Bunny, okay? Hey guys, it's me, Pierre, aka Nina Bonina Banana Obama Osama Bilana Brown. And we are back for another raw view. Y'all know how we do it here. Piggies come here and keep it cute in the comment section or you will get the boot. Okay, keep it cute. Mute. Child, it's late. I don't even know my own saying anymore. Don't ask me what this look is. Don't ask me. I I, I went to the um the discount mall store you know every hood has one and they were selling these i'm like this reminds me of la Kale. so it's very hot and uncomfortable but yeah we're here for the um the wait why are we here oh, for the reunion <laughs> which i hear is two hours long and somebody said it's already boring and they said that it's basically about mistress Irene and RuPaul. So I'm over it. I'm like, why do we need a two hour reunion? Cause now I'm scared to see how long the finale will be. Uh, so yes, I have been going through it really bad for real y'all. Uh, some people know, but um, trying to do this on one of the days that I was really going through it. I went, I went to go get a smoothie and I didn't notice that this whole time that they had a cold and cleanse place beside the smoothie place. Because I secretly was like, I want to see how it feels to get a cold and cleanse. You know, because I, I don't really have like normal bowel movements. It's always been that way. And then anxiety and all that, play with your stomach. And I had to take some um, steroids a while back because I was telling you I had issue with the hearing because it's like the sinuses and stuff and that made me gain some weight in my stomach some and I'm like I don't want to be no 40 year old pot billy man so anyway I went there <laughs> literally broke down crying in the lady's arms so random because it's been going through it and she talked me into doing the colon cleanse and I will say I don't think I will do it again or if I do not anytime soon they claim they recommend two to three times a, a month no ma'am um, and they say that it's not really dangerous, you know, as long as you're like drinking your electro you know, electrolytes and you're like putting, um, eating, taking some probiotics. But basically for those of y'all that have never done it, it's like a long dush that never stops. Like they had me do it for like 45 minutes. I have little video clips. I just happened to come by a cold and cleanse place and I want to get my cold and cleanse. I'm scared. This is literally it. I've never had something up there before. What in the... Girl, can it go in there? Just pretend it's my father, JK. When I tell y'all, this is uncomfortable. It's like dushing to the extreme. Ooh, help me, Jesus. Like I'm giving birth. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it was so uncomfortable. It really was uncomfortable. And like, you know, not to be all graphic, but like my honey hole, if you will, it likes to push things, it likes to push the thing out. Cause like you lay on this table, like almost like you're giving birth. And you have to put this like two, like about two inches of it um, in your honey hole. <laughs> and like also in that same part is like where you poop at and stuff. So you're like, they turn the machine on and stuff and you're just laid back. And they're like, she's like, try to like hold something in your stomach for a while. And then when you can't take it no more, then squeeze out. 
oh my god it was horrible so being that it kept it being that the tube kept coming out of me because i'm tight hey i'm a top of course um <laughs> i had to literally put a glove on and hold my hand there for 45 minutes as i'm pushing out water pushing out poo farting and darting i can't <laughs> Uh, it never got to a point where it was comfortable it never did everything was just horrible i'm like people do this all the time uh and then when i got done i will say for real like my stomach definitely was flatter seriously for real like, i'm like it actually does make your stomach flatter i mean now if you're ronaldo i mean i don't know <laughs> And then I was asking her funny questions like, how about this great guy if they come here? I'm like, do they even do it? She like, she had one guy who came in there and then a the minute he saw like, she was getting ready to put it there. He was like, oh heck no, you know, you know how guys are. They're like, ain't nobody going down there. So that's why, that's why we, that's why we think the straight guys don't even wash their behinds. And then I was asking about gay guys, you know, like bottoms going in there, pretending that it's too deep, like, mm-hmm. <laughs> But would I recommend colon cleanse? I don't know. I can see where there's benefits. It does make you feel a little more tired, I guess, for a little bit. Um, you can't eat for like 24 hours afterwards. You know, you can't really eat like, you know, stuff you would normally eat. But yeah, it, it, it was definitely an experience. It definitely was. Also, if anybody ever sends y'all a picture of somebody wearing this same exact green mask and they're like naked but like they blurred out their peen that's not me so just know that's not me moving on so we are going to read some tips um and also people were asking about the james aka tyra interview with joseph shepherd um I did watch it, but I'm not going to say much about it because I do not want James to meet me on site. Uh-uh. <laughs> you, can't even, you can't even give that person compliments. You give him compliments, he ready to fight you. So I'm not saying... <laughs> I will just say that I'm glad that some people got to listen and maybe understand him better. I do think there were some times where I felt like, um... You know, like, um, like, did you really tell the truth or everything? And then, of course, you had, of course, you know, you have people in the comment section, especially like white people, like, take accountability, take accountability. It's like, how many of y'all take accountability for what y'all do? And not only that, what if he really feels like he doesn't owe any accountability because he doesn't feel like he did wrong, you know? Not saying it's right or wrong, but for him, he may feel like he didn't. And then, you know, when, when will people hold some of the horrible fans accountable for some of the things they say and do that lead some people to react certain ways because like you know for example when he showed the the text of like the person who was like go k yourself with the gun emojis and then tyra said that to him or jane said that to him nobody nobody attacked the fan for saying it just the James for responding back. You know, it's like, when will y'all take fans accountable as well? And yes, Joseph had tried to get me to do an interview before because I know people were saying, you should interview Nina. I'm like, he has asked me way in the past, like way in the past. And I never really responded. Um, maybe maybe um, the person who was helping me um, responded to an email one time, but I never really responded because interviews are not, are not really my thing. Plus, it doesn't really matter because like you can go in there and show your good side and your best side. And just like how they're doing James, they're going to say, but he, is he playing the victim? He's not accountable. I'm like, does it really matter? So thank you, Tino Garcia. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bravat, for the tip again. Thank you, Taronda Sherrod, for the good tip. Appreciate you. Thank you, Richard Matchman, as always. Thank you, Sarah Berkshire. Berkshire. Thank you, Zach H. Thank you, Garrick Nichols. Thank you so much. Thank you, Foster Roosh. I think it's Roosh. Thank you, Tamara Fedosiva, as always. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> I swear, I purposely do not do that. I just always see your name and have to stop. 
Thank you, Michael Mentor. Thank you, Carlos Alva, as always. Thank you, Jared Woodward, again. Thank you, Vivian Barones, for the good tip. Thank you so much. Thank you, Leslie Fusco, for the good tip. Girl, the girls are tipping less these days, but God gonna bless y'all. <laughs> Thank you for the wonderful tips, guys. If y'all would like to tip and support, please do, by all means. You can find all the tipping information in the description box down below. And remember, tipping is not a what? A country in China. Well, let's go ahead and get to it. Why is this two hours, y'all? This means the finale gonna be eight hours. <laughs> I smoke that. I guess they have this whole intro now. But Amethyst looks nice. Fish got on her baby here. I'm a, I'm like I'm a little scared to see what she's gonna wear for the for the finale. Oh. Aura Maiori. Is the aura in here is sickening? Aura's outfit, it's like a stray jacket, like she's crazy. But she also has fashion. It's kind of cute. Wow. I may have gone home first. I like Irene's outfit, just that I wish she would have had body on. But right now, sound like a broken record. <laughs> Most girls follow the script. I, I like Jax's hair. I see she changed her makeup a little bit. Lucy in my dookie. Yeah, this is typical Lucy. It's okay. It doesn't really go to me together with the yellow, but it's, you know, it's Lucy. I didn't ask to be the... It's simple, but it's cute. Baby doll fox. It's like when Malaysia had that orange um, other thing on, like the fox thing. It's kind of the same thing, but in pink. It's cute, though. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. If you... Typical Marsha. I think she has on makeup, or it could be a video. But this is cute. This is like... Clueless, but like another level. Isabel Brooks. I may be a mistress, but honey. Ow. This is really nice. I mean, the, so I kind of think the, the like wrestling belt is a little, you know, kind of tacky or campy, but like if it didn't have that, I would buy it all the way. That's Poppy. I'm quitting drag. Oh, I guess she really is quitting drag. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm quitting drag. You're welcome. <laughs> Bad victory. One day I forgot all about Robin, and I'm, I'm not even funny, but like I just forgot about some of these girls. But this is cute. But it's very little Kim back in the day. Selena has titties. You may see a little Latin boy in drag. I think she's dressed to call. What's the boy name? What that man name is? That man. That sound like a ferret. What that man name be? Oh. I think she's dressed to call Ross another F word. Oh, you know the F word. Ready? Ross Matthews, you can eat my ass, faggot. I'm still your favorite drag queen. Fish got in her scary blue eyes. I mean, this is okay, you know. So it's all right. We're not as annoying as we look. <laughs> I definitely say we're not annoying, annoying as we look, and literally that intro was annoying. <laughs> Somebody, two robots. We're not annoying as we look. <laughs> but it looked cute though. I like Sugar's look the, the best though. Scan this QR code and support the ACLU. Amen. I will scan the code, but I don't have a Metro PCS. Can I get a neck crack? No. <laughs> okay. Anisha took a light bulb. Don't be shy, bitch. It was, listen. I'm not still in the light bulb. You could at least throw one of RuPaul's hard wigs. First time in Drag Race history, we had twins. Take a look. And they like, they always tell these lies. Like, that's not the first time they had twins. Clearly, me and Shay were twins on season nine. Clearly. I mean, obvious. So, in that aspect, when I first saw them, I was kind of like, bitch, stop playing in my profession. <laughs> I think that's it. Well, at least somebody's doing that, like, trying to take it serious. You know, even though she may have... You know, maybe I misjudged them, but at the same time, yeah, I can't blame her because everybody drag queen these days. And realize that there's not one right way to be a full-time drag queen. Well, one right way can just be started by actually doing drag and putting no makeup in a body, but. Notification <laughs> era. I don't even consider myself on the show because I wasn't wearing nails then. Or not. <laughs> or a little bit, she looked bored. The same. Now we're gonna be right back after this. Coming up. Why is Selena wearing that old Daisy May Liz Melly wig? Queen, what do you think of that? Well, it's not hard for you to impersonate a man. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. 
Oh. <laughs> Finally, some drama, girl. Lux versus Lucy again. <laughs> uh, they want Lux and Lucy to argue, argue so bad. That you had a term for what she was going through. What was that? You know, a little bit of drag. You know, somebody was saying that they watched this already and that like it's two hours boring long and that it's like basically Mistress Irene and RuPaul comedy show. And I'm like, so far I'm seeing that it's like Mistress is really dominating this whole reunion. Like, do the other girls even need to be there at this point? Hey, you're performing. Oh my God. I started seeing these people that when I was younger and now they're like old. <laughs> it lets you know that you're old. Girl, his name is now Kevin Soggy Bacon. Oh. You, be <laughs> you can always tell when Nina West smelled a nice pair of fresh feet. The nostrils are already flared. They permanently flared from the smell. That she would do the song that I wanted to do, which was um, Selena. It's all coming back to me now. Yeah, I was like, the e yeah, RuPaul, I'm confused too. Now, Sasha, did you know everybody felt that way about you? Um, uh, yeah. Right. I'm like, every second was Sasha, Sasha, Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> I still think Jack's won. <laughs> okay, but here's my. Oh. <laughs> Jack. I found it funny that those girls were saying that because none of them are in the finale. None of them would have held a camera to either of us. I was just answering. Oh. Finally. I'm you spill the beans about you and Miss Amethyst. So we. Right. I'm like, not this. I'm like, all Robin gonna be known for on drag race is sleeping with Adam Sandler. I had a little crush on Poppy. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. And Poppy. I don't see it. Poppy, do you still feel the same way? <laughs> oh, no, not this. I'm embarrassed. Ew. <laughs> Cringy. And doesn't Poppy have a boyfriend? Actually, um, getting married. I got engaged. <laughs> Dang, she got engaged fast after, after the season. <laughs> Go Montrese. I have a question for Marsha. Wonder Coco mad? She said, I told y'all to use my white woman filter. Damn. Now that y'all know I'm black. And y'all could have told Coco to turn a little bit more to the camera. So we ain't got to see her pancake um, breasts. Uh, Marsha X3 Cosmetics is launching very soon. Not cosmetics and you don't wear makeup. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be translucent powder. Chapstick with no color. <laughs> I can't tell you the people that get they, they get cosmetic cosmetic deals. I'll, I'll, I'll never get. <laughs> Asia O'Hara, and I have a question for Sasha. Asia ain't changed her makeup once. <laughs> my, my thing with Asia is like she's, she, I, I never really see her do too many details to her face. Like, it's just like she, the old school uses a lot of like the, um, that's not banana powder. It probably, probably mixed in with like, um, chestnut or something, but she just like really does all that over the whole face. But I never really see her like, you know, doing a lot of contouring and stuff. But I like that hair though. Who is your favorite drag queen and you can only pick one? Oh. You should have asked her who's your favorite one for Drag Race. Mm-hmm. Robin Fierce. Ooh. Now, Mama, I'm in the market. Right. Robin, like, finally, I can speak again. Dang. Do the makeup, go to work like this, and then I would go to the gigs uh, right after. Cause okay. That's cool that the job, though, allowed her to come to work like that for shows and stuff afterwards. Which of you queens felt that Irene came for them? I blocked her. <laughs> Are you for Well, they should be honest. Feel? <laughs> no. Wait, who's Irene? I'm just lying like you. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Mistress, why were you coming from my child about her wig in the first episode? Uh-oh. <laughs> she about to get the belt and then feed you collard greens after. Hi, everyone. I'm Jane, Aura's mom. And for His mom has beautiful hair. Hey. The moms are so. spicy. Yo, let it be my mom. I just have I just have a question for RuPaul. Why y'all didn't find that find that man somewhere to stay? I'm tired of him living with us. <laughs> because what witchcraft did you pull to only be in one episode and still get more screen time than Robin? Uh. Was that a read or a question? <laughs> no, you and Michelle Visage are actually have a lot in common. Oh, you know, living in someone else's shadow. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you're the first one I've ever met with a fake accent. <laughs> okay, white girl. All right. Oh. 
<laughs> well? Why did you think Lucy was being fake? Do the cold competitioner at this moment. Oh. <laughs> Shady. I'm not saying you're an old ass bitch. It's just, that's not what I'm saying. I think you just did. <laughs> if Lucy don't trying to be nice and like here's a chance to read these people. <laughs> In that moment, I genuinely like as a sister was trying to look out for my new friend because I wanted to know who <laughs> RuPaul's like, I'm not buying it. My mother handmade me that <laughs> Your mom needs to get her eyes checked. Oh. oh wow. Now first up, Amethyst rip her to shreds. Yes. I mean, it's kind of cool, I guess, that, that they're showing what the girls would have worn on the reunion. You know, give, give them a little spotlight, I guess. Santa baby, can you put me in touch with the person Ooh. who retouched this photo? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'll think of the same thing. <laughs> uh, makeup. I, oh my goodness. Yeah, who retouched this? <laughs> no, seriously, I'm like, is that Maddie Morphosis? These <laughs> bag balls. Oh. Not them purposely showing a bad look at Lucy. <laughs> Lucy, as I told you through the season, just walk off and go home. Yeah, I will tell my grandchildren that this is drag. Yeah. And RuPaul, you mean your great, great, great grandchildren. Don't try it. <laughs> I'm gonna toot the dress and boot the acting. Yeah. <laughs> and someone let Taraji know that I put a gold chain on Poppy. <laughs> Damn, this is so monotone. I'm like, falling asleep. <laughs> to say everything I do has been done before while wearing a wig that was on the runway already on a puppet. Oh, oh I had never- Oh. <laughs> I had never said everything you've done has been done before. Okay. It was inevitable. Any feel- right, other time, Drag Race would have showed a clip. Why didn't show one? <laughs> Find um, organizations um, that help fight for- Or it looks really nice. I like that hair just now. That was, that was sickening. Can make my state you like more won't be played. Someone said Ru RuPaul said to the um, producers, don't cut away from her. There goes our Emmy. <laughs> that Lucy said, Irene doesn't even look like she's had filler. In fact, it looks like her face is sagging. <laughs> not, not after this sweet moment Lucy just had, they're like, yep, back to making her look, look like a bee. She already gave us our Emmy. <laughs> if you only had one day on Drag Race, you hold on to what you have. Oh. Well, let's oh. <laughs> It seems as though the girls come here and they are very aware of uh, what people might say. Ruth, you know that's what the girls are doing now. Everybody's coming on there making sure they have their hashtags ready. They are too scared to be real and say what they got to say. I mean, we've we all been through this. You know that. And there's some people who just let us take, you know, the but it's no tea. Yeah, well, you yeah, listen. I just say drag race and wow on them. They didn't step in and say anything. <laughs> Just say them, the, the, the person that you're interviewing right now. I am unbothered by what someone might say. So, you know, I implore you. Are you, are you unbothered though? Because, I mean, y'all haven't said anything to me in a long time. You sure you're not bothered by me saying that your wig lines are hard? <laughs> you sure about that? <laughs> so, um, some say it's voguing. Some say it's no game. Oh, what do you oh. <laughs> Yeah, lay on me. Get ready. Sasha Colby posed the house down in the blame it on the edit music video. What kind of random moments? Mistress, you killed it in the acting. Sasha, your, your poses. <laughs> like, thanks, Rue. Just know me for poses. Now, have you been in music videos before? I haven't before, but I've had the privilege. Of you was in a music video with me, Eureka, Aja. And that girl that does Beyonce. Look at me like I'm a little girl. Where's all my soul, sisters? Let me hear your flow, sisters. Remember? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess I'll just say it. That wasn't a real one. Yeah? I know you gonna love somebody else. Can I get an amen up in here? Hey. I don't know. I thought it was like just two hours for what? Not enough drama, you know, even though it's good to see the girls getting along, but you know, little little shade thrown here and there, but it could have been a little more drama. A lot of the girls didn't speak much at all, like Jax, um, Amethyst, 
a few of them. I'm just like, I can't, I can't, I can't remember. I'm like, dang, like it was, it really was just the same girl speaking a lot. So that was kind of interesting. Uh, but yes, guys, um, sorry if this Robbie was kind of boring. Blame the show. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys for the finale, which I hope is not two hours, three hours. And until then, stay beat, stay beautiful, but most importantly, stay blessed. Kimacho or Kamochi. Bye. 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 <laughs> Wait, get my damn leg in bed. <laughs>